it's um, 7 a.m. Actually, it's 7.20 because I can never get out of bed on time. It's the first time I wake up so early in like the last three months. It's not even that early, but it's the first day of my PhD. Let's uh, do it. Let's get Every single morning, I moisturize. I feel like my face is always dry. But also, maybe my face is always dry because I always moisturize. <laughs> and recently, I started to do this thing where you massage your skin and I just started to do it because it feels good. <laughs> Every morning, I also put on sunscreen because it's important to protect your skin. I have this nose ring. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. I got it when I was 16. And then last week when I was unpacking in this new apartment, I found it again. And I just thought I'd try it, see if it fits. And <laughs> Turns out, the hole is still in there. My beauty routine, I would say, is pretty minimalistic. A little bit of concealer. This one is called the Uncover Up from RMS Beauty. This is what it looks like. Now we take the powder. I think all I'll do is curl my lashes. I always use pins to pin it up in this like bun because then when you release it, it's like nice and curly and voluminous. And all I really have to do is fix my bangs. Greasy. This is pretty much it. <sighs> So I've tr been trying to make it a habit to have a glass of water first thing in the morning before I have my coffee. So far it's been going fine. Every morning I have coffee. Now I'm making it with almond milk because I think I might be lactose intolerant. And now I have my coffee with almond milk and then here I made chia seeds and oats also with almond milk. So all week I've been working on my new room. <clears throat> so this is my handmade closet. Then I have my bed here, my little bedside table. This is like a desk of <laughs> things that I need to put on shelves, which are down there, along with books. And then this is my working desk, and I have a mirror. And this is my view, very nice view. So recently I've really been into the five minute journal. Basically you're supposed to do it like three minutes every morning and then two minutes every evening. And I've been able to keep it up. I did it today and then I'm gonna do it tonight. And yeah, I really like it. I just, I don't know if it's been beneficial yet. And I guess we won't find out for like, I don't know, a whole year. But I like it because it's like meditation. You reflect on what you're grateful for, so can't be doing harm. So because I have a 40 minute commute in the morning, I decided that I would take this time to do my daily meditative reading, also to listen to the Slow German podcast so I can learn some German, and then finally learn some German vocab. So I have my own office. This guy is apparently gonna be moving out in like a month. 
And then my prof was like, I'm not gonna put anyone else in the room because we need a lot of space to work. So apparently this is gonna be, yeah, this whole place is gonna be mine. Um, I have my own whiteboard and I found out that this is magnetic. So how exciting is that? I already took the liberty of like setting up my desk. The previous student left all of these plants here. Spotify. <laughs> I feel like I'm super organized, um, but I can imagine that it won't stay this way. Okay, I don't know if the light is actually flashing all the time or if it's just my screen on the GoPro. What time is it? Quarter to five. I managed to do an entire day of work. What kind of work? I changed the uh, my desktop background on my computer, downloaded MATLAB, Office, our studio, should probably also download Python, had a chat with my professor, picked some classes, um, and now I'm about to go to yoga. So come with me. And then later I will need to go to the Apple store because <laughs> look at my, <laughs> look at my charger. I fixed it before, but now it completely broke again. I could definitely reattach this here, but I figured, you know, now that I'm a working girl, I might as well just buy a proper Mac charger. I also decided to use my commute on the way home from work as a time to do some leisure reading. And I always cook for myself, so tonight I decided to cook myself this amazing vegan burger while watching Sex Education. Got back from yoga and showered. Did you think I was gonna film those parts? No. Now I am literally in bed after my amazing veggie burger watching Sex Education. Great Netflix show. Netflix show. And eating cookies. These are the cookies I opt for because they're like, they don't feel like you're eating a whole cookie because they're like mostly air. So it's a lot easier to eat a whole <laughs> box. <laughs> My tea of choice, chamomile. I feel like vlogging is really boring. Why do people, why, why are you guys watching this? I'm now in bed and I almost forgot to do my five minute journal. I really like the five minute journal because it's just like a way to be grateful and think about what happened in the day. I've been trying out this little meditation app for helping me sleep um, and it's a free app. So the one uh, I'm using is called Smiling Mind and it's from Australia. So the people all have Australian accents and it's hilarious and great. And that's what I'm gonna listen to right now. Meditation. I was trying to get better at that. It's a um uh it just feels really nice to give yourself a little massage. My go-to breakfast is like plain yogurt with chia seeds. I feel way more energized when I have this breakfast. That can actually last until mm, lunchtime. I feel like I would eventually um, like to bike to school, but because uh, it's actually shorter, it's 30 minutes instead of a 40 minute commute. But I really like being able to do like daily readings of meditation, um, listening to podcasts, reading my book, doing my German homework. I feel like I get a lot done on the bus and it's part of my morning routine. So maybe I'll do it a few times, but right now someone actually stole uh, one of the wheels on my bike. So. so I got my coffee, my yogurt, and my five minute journal. I put on this hat because I was like, oh, it looks so good with these like wide-legged jeans and my turtleneck and like, I feel like I'm trying so hard because I guess I have no science to do yet. <laughs> but this hat is completely impractical because it rains every day in Zurich. So now I'm gonna put on my rain jacket with this hat, such as life. 
As you may or may not know, I actually dislocated my shoulder a few months ago. So on this particular day, I had to go to my physiotherapy appointment. And then straight after that, I got this amazing view as I went to my next appointment, which was an MRI. Okay, I'm throwing way too many of these cringy peace signs in this video, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, changing topics, we have a coffee machine in my office and it's the best thing ever. And what did I do in the evening? I, of course, cooked some linguine and watched The Good Place because you know I finished sex education by now. Okay, I'm really happy. Wait, <laughs> this is the album. I'm happy because I released one of my first videos from two months uh, yesterday on Monday called uh, You're Not a Good Engineer. Wait, you're a bad engineer. I can't believe I even forgot the title. I've been thinking about this title for so long. And um, I'm getting like really positive comments and feedback and I'm really surprised because I thought people would be really angry with me for what I said in the video for some reason. So thank you guys for that. When I finished physiotherapy, I went to HR, I got my contract, so I'm officially an employee. <laughs> and then I went to the gym. I went to do Super Condi and I'm really proud of myself because I tried to get a film shot of what Super Condi is and insert it right here. So it's basically like this insane workout to crazy dance music. It's like endurance and body weight. Yes, the rest of the week I will be better at filming. And now I'm about to you know what I'm about to do, you know. Don't pretend like you don't know. Write about things that I'm grateful for. And then I'm gonna do my nighttime meditation. That's it, healthcare baby, self, self-care baby. Self-care is healthcare. Good night. Obviously, downloading Python and trying to fix my R from running. Everything's broken. Can't get any of my uh, data to open on a Windows computer because I have a Mac. Okay, it's quarter to one. I spent the whole evening doing laundry and now I'm tired and I have to wake up early. So good night. My alarm rang 30, no, 20 minutes ago at 7.30 and it's 10 to 8, so So I'm 20 minutes later than my goal, but if you think about it, I'm like two hours earlier than the last few days, than the whole week. So really, who's the loser here? Not me. Also, my face is super white because I just put on sunscreen and that's it. I didn't do anything else. Okay, I didn't do my um, five minute journal this morning because I was a little pressed on time. I didn't even have five minutes. I actually didn't even have coffee, which is why I came to work to have my coffee. But I did do my meditation on the bus and uh, listened to some podcasts. Also, this is my outfit today. Uh, I don't know why I keep showing you guys my outfit. It's almost like I don't know what else to <laughs> film in my first day of the PhD. Actually, I do know what I could have been filming. I could have told you guys what I'm supposed to be doing for the next four years as part of this thesis. So I'm in the environmental engineering department and what I'm supposed to be doing is investigating how suspended sediment is connected to the landscape, what are its sources and sinks? How do temporal events such as rainfall or glacial erosion affect suspended sediment concentrations? And these questions I'll be able to answer 
once I build a specific sensor that is used for this kind of study. So yeah, first step is to spend the next year developing this sensor. But I thought what I would do is I would show you how I organize my life. So how I organize my life is I have actually a five minute, no. So how I organize my life actually is I have a bullet journal. So this is it. One of my friends once said, oh, I can't have a bullet journal, I'm not artistic enough. And I'm like, I literally have no art in my bullet journal because I don't have time for that. So the setup of my bullet journal is really easy. Every day I just write the day and I just highlight it. <laughs> um, you don't have to highlight obviously. I just do that so I can see better. So basically every single day I put a, a dot of things I need to do and if I get them done then I cross them off. If I don't get them done then I migrate them to the, like if I don't get them done in these two spreads so you can see like on Tuesday I didn't buy my ticket to Trento so I haven't crossed it off yet, but as soon as I go to the next page, I will migrate it. So what does migrating look like for this, for example? So last Tuesday, I was supposed to read through the Erasmus application, and I didn't do it <laughs> at all. So what I did was I migrated it to the next week. Um, if something is not important anymore, uh, brainstorm YouTube ideas. I felt like I came up with ideas so I didn't actually need to sit down and brainstorm, then I just cross it off. If something's really important, print out a form that I have to print, I star it. Um, and if I have an appointment, like I had physio at 9.30 on Tuesday, I put this little circle. And then these are like general things that I have to do, but that I haven't put into my schedule yet. So I'm like, okay, these are things that I have to do, but I don't have to do them by like today. Um, and so if I get like a moment, like today I don't have anything to do on Thursday, then I can take something from this corner and put it here. And then if I also don't finish these things, then I will migrate them to the next week. Now I have to really finish my presentation by tomorrow because Oh, it's Thursday. Yeah, I have a meeting with my group, my department, tomorrow to like present my project so everyone knows what I'm doing. The other reason I had to get here early is because I have a doctor's appointment and physio at 3.30. And then I'm going to work out at noon for Super Condi. It's now the weekend and I somehow survived the first week of my PhD. So you see me, here I am on the bus. I'm actually taking the bus to meet my friends. Oh, there's another peace sign, of course. I'm meeting my friends in Trento. There we will be organizing the next Student for Rivers camp, which will be happening in Montenegro. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in attending the camp. But I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or learned something or I don't know, maybe you just turned it on and then walked away. Regardless, thank you for watching this video and see you next time.